Aloha, this is Wyatt and Hunter Bryson with Myco Lab Solutions and today we're in the lab and we're going to show you how to inoculate wooden dowels with a liquid culture of shiitake mushrooms. The first thing you want to do is to make sure your working space is sterile and free of contaminants. So we're going to spray everything down with alcohol and we're going to wipe everything down. Make sure to keep your hands clean at all times. So now that your workspace is sterile, you'll want to take your jars and line them up in front of your flow hood. Now, once your jars are lined up, remove the tin foil cap. So once you have your jars lined up in front of your flow hood and the tin foil removed, you can now start to inoculate your wooden dowels with your liquid culture syringe. This jar has been fitted with uh, a filter made from polyfill just by putting a hole into the cap and inserting the polyfill. This works great and it's very cheap and easy to do. These tops have been fitted with a filter patch adhered to the top with a silicone along with an injection port for easily inoculating your jars in an unsterile area. These jars have been covered with a Tyvek sheeting and then holes just poke through the lid and put over it. Uh, when you take off these lids to inoculate the jars, uh, you'll have to um, take off the Tyvek sheet as well. Um, I would not recommend inserting the needle through the holes and through the Tyvek. Putting holes through the Tyvek um, might allow contamination to come in at a later time. This Tyvek uh, was taken from just simple um, pre-order mail bag that you could get at any post office. It's a cheap, free way to get Tyvek. One little trick on your jars is to place the lids upside down so they don't make a seal inside the autoclave. If they do make a seal, sometimes it can be very difficult to open and get off to do your inoculation and you'll be fumbling around in front of your flow hood and creating more chances for contamination. You'll want to keep your jars directly in front of your flow hood and make sure to keep your hands and all tools on the back side of the airflow. That way you're not allowing any contaminations to come in. So we'll unscrew the lid and we'll take off the top ring and just leave the cap on top of the jar. Once your jar is ready for inoculation, you'll carefully lift off the lid with your left hand, keeping it in front of the flow hood. Take your syringe and start squeezing your liquid culture onto the dowels. Once you've put your desired amount, you'll then Take the lid and carefully place it back onto the jar, keeping your hand behind the jar at all times. Now, you've just inoculated your jars and you can put the ring back on. Between each transfers, make sure to sterilize all tools. The needles will be sterilized every time we change jars. That's good. So, what you're going to do is insert the needle into the injection port and squeeze in one cc of liquid culture. 
Now since we only have one syringe of this liquid culture, we're only going to do one cc so we can save a little bit. These will be our starter jars to expand the culture. Okay, now your jars are sealed and you should be able to take them out of your clean area and put them into your inoculating room. The next step will be to label all of your jars. So in keeping with clean technique, we're going to sterilize our pen and then we're going to put our information on each jar so we do not forget when we made them and what culture we're using. Yep. So on the front of the glass, you'll put the species, the date you made it, the culture you made it from, and any other pertinent information. So for this culture, we made a shiitake, a cold weather strain that we received from Mycosymbiotics. He is awesome. Um, I love working with him and I see a great future in both his company and mine. So we'll label our jars and then we'll put them into the inoculating room.